What, who exactly reached out? Not Andrew Cuomo, you're saying? Not the governor, but Republicans. Which Republicans? Well, I, I, I'll let everyone speak for themselves. I'm a big proponent on people speaking for themselves, but <laughs> I think people behind the scenes, uh, behind the scenes that did want this to pass, and I think there are there are a lot of those folks. There are a lot of folks that uh, that aren't publicly in favor of this, but uh, there are people who really wanted to get this on the table, get this on the floor, and see it pass. Interesting. And uh, certainly, you know, certainly uh, Senator Bruno was someone I had a, a great number of conversations with about this, and I, I thought he made a lot of sense. Yeah, and that's really interesting. He played a very big role behind the scenes, I'm understanding at this point. Uh, I know that he was close to you, but also close to Roy McDonald, whose seat, uh, he now holds Bruno's old seat. Um, just how influential do you believe Bruno was in this process? Well, first of all, Senator Bruno is a, a you know, very talented political mind, and he has a, uh, has a great feel for this, and who knows the, the Senate process better than Senator Bruno. True. I mean, that, uh, certainly, that being said, um, I, again, I'm going to let each, each man and woman speak for themselves. 